All right, so if you have these missing drivers for your Alienware Aurora R11 or this model desktop, okay, we're gonna show you how to find them. So usually I would just Google search Alienware Aurora R11 drivers, okay? Make sure you're getting them from Dell. All right, and then we're gonna have to figure out what drivers we actually need. So let me look for those real quick and I'll be back. Okay, when you're in this website, you'll click here, and then you see drivers and downloads. Actually, I think it was already there. Let's zoom out here. Let's see what it shows. Drivers, operating system, recovery, Dell, driver notifications, check windows compatibility. We have drivers here. Oh, here, find drivers. So we want to find them manually. Okay, so we're on Windows 10 64-bit, download type all of them, here you can see for Alienware, or you can check this device specifically. If you want in here, you can type in your service tag number, so let me do that real quick and I'll be back. Alright, so I put in the service tag, it autofills the service express service code and everything, and it looks like this. So you get all these different drivers. Uh, what we're going to do, uh, let's see if we can download, download them all at once. So we're going to do that, Alienware command center control, the update, you want the network thing, all right, BIOS update, video card updates, all right, Intel rapid storage technology, Intel serial I.O. driver, uh, more Intel, or Net NVIDIA stuff, all of that. Let's see all, then they have recommended stuff. Let's just get all the NVIDIA stuff. I'm not sure which specific thing it has, but hopefully it has what it needs, right? We don't technically need all this software. You can put them if you want, all right? I don't know why it doesn't have, it's not doing the ethernet driver. Let's see what it's doing. Command center, that lets you do like the colors and things for the lights, I believe. All right, these are like network card, Bluetooth, BIOS, all this. I don't know why they have the NVIDIA graphics driver so many times, but uh, yeah. Okay, we'll do the Intel management engine. I think this is all the same. Are they just like different versions of the driver? Huh. Yeah, I don't know why it has it multiple times. Okay, they have overclock controls applications if you want that. And if you want that but I don't think you want to mess with those kind of things all right mobile connect chipset so let's do the Intel chipset rapid storage technology okay you can do all of these but a lot of times um, Windows update will find them all right so you probably don't need all these other ones and then these drivers are like I think they're all the same it's just different versions of it so maybe it's older versions all right so that's probably good enough then we're gonna go to, let's try download selected and see if it will download them all easily. So we'll go, I'm gonna save it to the desktop here. It's gonna download this whole thing. And let's see what happens if we run that. Okay. So, oh, okay, it wants to do multiple. So here it says it wants to do multiple, I'm gonna allow. And then I guess I just gotta click, keep clicking save because it's gonna keep asking me to save every driver. Oh, okay, so Dell's website's nice. It actually will do each one, like one by one, instead of downloading like a package. Oh, network error, what is this? Make sure these actually install. So I gotta resume each one, I guess, manually. That's kind of weird. Let's do show all, and I'll just click resume on each one. Yeah, I don't know why they were failing, but Let's go ahead and resume each one to make sure they all download. Hopefully you guys are able to see all the stuff I'm doing. Okay, so it looks like that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done. These are still going. That's done, that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done. All right, so we'll let these go. Okay, almost done. And then we're just gonna install each one. I mean, if you don't know how to install stuff, then I don't know what to tell you. But basically, you just click each one, tell them to install, and that's pretty much it. Okay, that's done. That's done, that's done, and that's done. You can close this up. So, I accidentally already clicked one. So let me close this because I'm gonna do it in order of what's here. 
So if you want, you can sort by name, but I'm just going to go with the first one. And then you basically just install each one. And eventually all these three, these things should all disappear. If not, let me know. Check other drivers, maybe install everything else. Um, but that should be it. All right, accept the driver, the license, and install. And yeah, we just go through each one. When you're done installing it, throw them in the recycle bin. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this video will help you guys. Let's see. You can also keep the device manager open to see when these disappear. Most likely these are like the chipset drivers and things like that. Um, so it's probably going to be one of the chipset ones. And then eventually it will go away. I doubt it's like the graphics card one. And I doubt it's going to be this command center. It might, well, the command center one might be one of them. But anyways, my arm's going to break holding this thing. So let's see here. All right, we'll let this keep going. Okay. Yeah, this is just going to be a long time of installing stuff. So I don't know if you guys want to stay and watch this entire thing. You see how long this thing is taking to install? <laughs> um, just let them run. Okay. Sometimes it's going to be like Intel rapid storage thing. Let's see what else. I don't think it's going to be the network one. Serial IO driver could possibly be this one. I doubt it's the Nvidia stuff. So I'm going to move the ones that I doubt they are over to there. These are network stuff. I doubt it's that. Okay, more Nvidia stuff. More Nvidia stuff. I wonder why this driver stuck. Is there another window popped up somewhere? Or is it just taking that long? These are all NVIDIA things. Okay, Intel Rapid Storage could be that. Dell Update, Alienware Update could possibly be that, but I doubt it. Audio thing, I doubt it. Audio thing, I doubt it. Chipset, very likely. Intel Management, con okay, very likely. And Aurora, so it could possibly be this. I think Aurora is also the light controlling stuff. So, I'm going to guess, so this is the one that's installing right now, the command center. I'm going to guess it's, I'm going to guess it's one of these six that will get rid of these three, or a combination of them. But uh, yeah, we'll let this go, and I'll see you guys once that's done, alright? See you guys in a bit. Okay, so as you can see, that first one, it told me like it's finished there's nothing changed but it says it needs to restart i'm gonna not check that and i'll restart manually later is it going there we go close okay so next one let's try the serial io driver okay so we can get rid of this one because we finished that alienware command center let's install that i don't think it's going to be this one but let's find out Okay, we'll let that install and we'll be back. It's probably going to take a while. Oh, maybe not. It's going, oh, nope, I'll restart later. Finish. Okay. So it installed. See, it wasn't one of those. Okay, it's probably going to be like a rapid storage or chipset thing. So let's see here. What, what is going on? I don't need that. Okay. Nope, wasn't that one. So we'll get rid of that one. Chipset driver. Let's install that. It's probably going to be one of these three. Um, I don't think it's going to be Aurora, but we'll find out. Sometimes it might be. Okay, we're going to accept and install this stuff. Is it going to be one of these? Or start later. So there you go. You can see it filled out this and it's all gone so it was the chipset driver and we're just gonna install the rest anyways but um that's pretty much it hopefully that helped you usually those um, unknown ones are chipset drivers or Intel management Intel rapid storage whatever kind of thing sometimes it can be other things but it's uh, less common so yeah anyways hopefully this video helped you guys out thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one bye I'm just gonna install the rest of these drivers just because they're nice to have. Alright, bye.